Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. After straightening out the motor and removing the blade guide, I wanted to see how the blade was going to track after that big bang. Uh oh, not good. Motors hung up big time. Those screws weren't tight. This is the first time I've had the motor off, or even had this cover off. I'm going to put all these wires back together again so that I know which ones go where. These go on the black wire. Good that they got little eyes on them, but I'm amazed that they're not tight. I mean, that's just finger tight. I didn't even have to use a wrench. And I don't really have to take the bolt out because the wire is just looped in there. Black goes to black, red goes to red. The ground wire is in there, but it's not doing anything. It's just... This screw isn't tight either. I don't think anybody tightened that up at all.
Okay. When it fell, it landed on the tip of that screw and the edge of this motor, and it knocked everything that direction. And now the motor spins about a quarter turn and locks up. I don't think it knocked it out of the motor bearings, so hopefully I'll be able to take that apart and get it squared up, because the motor does try and start, but it doesn't turn. So hopefully nothing major is wrong in there. We'll find out later when we get it apart. That'll be something I do in the basement. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.